getting out of town for the weekend. A new coronavirus variant has been spreading nationwide. It's called KP2. It's a member of the so-called flirt variant. You can't make this stuff up. Mm -hmm. Its name is derived from its mutations because it flirts. Symptoms appear to be in line with previous COVID strains. And with travel happening, we got to think about this. Yeah, it's a major concern. Also among the senior citizen community, especially in Marin County, their public department said local transmission is on the rise. Mm, okay, so last week, the county's public health department said 27% of wastewater samples they took tested positive for this KP2. And that's why they're strongly urging those 65 and older to get that updated COVID booster. In fact, officials said more than 90% of COVID hospitalizations in Marin County are linked to our senior population. Okay, so to go over this new variant and to talk about uh, the senior advisory happening in Marin County, Dr. Peter Ching Hong joins us right now from UCSF. Uh, he's the infectious disease specialist. Thank you for being here. So uh, our COVID cases recently on the rise, I just learned recently, I believe it was April 2nd, uh, there were no deaths for COVID that day. Um, that's a great question, Chiana. I think what we're seeing right now is the canary in the coal mine. So wastewater is up. Wastewater is the first indicator that we will probably see an increase in cases in the community in the upcoming weeks. And that wastewater is up in about 10 out of 12 jurisdictions in the Bay Area. But uh, hospitalizations um, and deaths are an all time low. But I think we're expecting to see an increase as the summer approaches, especially with summer travel happening Memorial Day. And you know, leading up to typical times that are typically heavy travel times, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, et cetera. We always get that word, get your booster shot. Are we seeing that, especially with the senior population? And what's your call for those who are not in that category? Yeah, so for those who are not uh, in the, those over 75, which is where we're seeing the bulk of deaths still in the country, um, if you're immune compromised or have comorbidities, it's really essential to get at least one of the shots that were approved since the fall of 2023. We will get another one in the fall of 24, but to prepare for the summer, those who are vulnerable should definitely get at least one. And of course, uh, for seniors and those who are immune compromised, they can get one, uh, another one even, uh, if the last one was four months or more uh, than, uh, than when they got the last one. You know, I feel as we navigate what is different times now with COVID, but, you know, flu season, getting sick, it felt more like it was in the fall or in the winter when we were spending more time inside because of the cold temperatures. Is this now a year-round thing we have to think about? I don't remember being so concerned about being sick in the summer months because you're outside and it's warmer temperatures. Well, Jana, we've had four consecutive summer increases in COVID. It wouldn't be the same like winter. Uh, it's more like a swell rather than a mm -hmm. surge. But it does remind us that if you don't want travel disrupted, uh, if you uh, don't want that family reunion rescheduled, uh, it's really important, as, particularly as cases go up, to be vigilant. Um, you know, I think that, you know, as you said, fueled by this new variant, we're also gathering more indoors during the summer now because of extreme heat and immunity is waning probably every six months or so it kind of gets a diff, and that's why we might see an increase in summer. All right, and especially wedding season. My goodness, we're coming yeah. up on pride and wedding season as well. Uh, doctor, we have about 20 seconds left. What's your advice for people who may not be in that risk category, in the age category we've talked about, but you live with somebody of advanced age, or you're gonna be around an aunt, an uncle, a grandpa, and you know that you wanna protect them as well. Should they get the booster as well? Yes. Yeah, so it's, available for everyone over the age of six months. So I would get it if I were them, uh, just to increase that force field, but also look at the COVID numbers, like the weather report, mm -hmm. uh, pack some masks and test kits if you're traveling in your first aid kit. Great information. Thank you, Dr. Peter Chin Hong. We really appreciate your time on that. And again, this is something we all need yeah. to think about.